What's up, y'all? Walking my kid to school, walking my oldest to school. Say hi, Motro. Hi. Yeah, I big love you. I big love you. Mm. So, being that I work early in the morning, I don't always get to walk him to school. Um, but I took off today, and I actually took off last Friday. Today's Monday. So, we're walking him to school. Then I'm going to go back home and work on some content. Do you like it when Daddy takes you to school? Yeah. You do? What about when Daddy picks you up? Yeah. Yeah? This kid's missing a bunch of teeth. Hey, what up y'all, Mr. Cruz here, the hardest worker in the room, back with another video. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys a couple of hacks using the FL file browser that you might not have known about. But before we get into the video, I do wanna shout out BeatStars. BeatStars is the number one platform for producers like you and me to be able to turn our passion into a profit. I don't know why you still sleeping on BeatStars. The beat that could change your life is more than likely sitting in your hard drive right now. So do yourself a favor, head on over to BeatStars, click the link in my bio, use my code CRU230, and I'm gonna hook you up with your first month of BeatStars completely for free. Start getting them beats up on a store, start sharing those links with people, and watch things can happen. All right, let's get to the video. For today's video, what I wanted to share is about the file browser. So FL probably has one of the more sophisticated file browsers that I've ever seen out of uh, any of the DAWs that I've ever used. Um, but some of the settings might be a little tricky and kind of hitting. So we're gonna go through these uh, and I'm gonna show you guys a couple of things. For starters, when we're searching for files in here, for so when we're searching for like a specific loop or drum kit or whatever, FL can only search for files that folders have already been added to um, FL's directory. So technically there's two ways you can do this. The first way is you can head over to options and in files and here is where you would add uh, whatever folder. So you'd have to find it in your directory and then add it through there. The other way is actually a lot simpler. If you had a folder, so let's say I wanted to add this folder, um, I can just drag and drop it into my browser and doing that will automatically add that parent folder into this. So I don't have to go in here and drag each and every single one of these over here. Um, just doing that parent folder, right? The big one right here, this one will automatically bring over all the files that are inside that folder and you can look them up through FL's browser. The other thing, there are three different types of windows that we see up here in FL's file browser. So this one is the also, this will show us everything. Uh, you're looking for a, a plugin, a sample, a song file, all of that stuff is hidden right here under the all tab, right? You can see it right there, it says all. This one is the current project. So if you have any samples, loops, melodies, anything that you've had uh, created with the specific project that you're working in right now, this is where that will pop up. Now, obviously this is a brand new project, so nothing's in here, so this one is empty. Uh, and then over here you have your plugins. Of course, you probably already you know recognize this or you're going to your channel rack and doing it that way. These last two tips I'm gonna give you are probably the best ones. First one is, did you know that you can open multiple folders at the same time? So let's say for example, if you're ever like me where you're searching through your drum, uh, drum samples, you kind of come across this, right? Let's say I was looking in this folder. Uh, all right, man, I really like that one. But then I also have this Lifestyles 808 and then opening another folder automatically closes the one that you had before. So if you go to browser options, make sure to disable this one right here which says show only one folder content. Now when I do that, I can open this folder with these hi-hats, I can open this one with these kicks. Well, I guess there's nothing in those. Um, I can open I can open everything and I can have multiple folders open at the same time. To me, this is amazing. Uh, and then let's say you kind of were like me and you got carried away. If you go up here and you hit collapse structure, it'll close all of them automatically. So there you go, opening multiple folders at the same time, great. Last one is snapshot. Now, I don't know about you, but for me, I kind of was confused about snapshot and really what it does. So here is where snapshots are. Now, the first three are automatically taken. So if you have your last click was inside of the browser folder or the browser viewer, if you just click one, two, or three, it'll automatically switch between those three windows. But you also have these right here, right? The rest of these that are available to you. I'm gonna do this one, which I kind of already did. Let me kind of disengage the frozen and explain to you what I did here or how this can kind of help you when you're looking for samples. So what you could do, let's say I wanted to have a snapshot just full of all the 808 samples that I normally use. Let's go, I'm gonna pick Chase Oceans 808s, Lifestyles 808s, and I think I got like a Murder Beats or no, a Metro Boomin 808s. So all three of these 808s folders are open at the same time. What I can do is once I select that, um, I can enable frozen 
and then that one every single time that i go to snapshot that's what's going to pop up so look snapshot six doesn't really have anything on here i'm going to collapse all this so let's collapse everything right so no folders are open and then when i go back to my snapshot the 808s and i had froze it because when you freeze it it doesn't allow any changes to be made to that so now bam i have all the 808 folders that i usually go to every single time open at once there you go quick little gem for all of my fl studio users before you go i would appreciate if you guys like comment and subscribe it is your boy mr cruz out